and kilo records. That is a straightaway record. How fast can you go in a straight line? In this boat, it's 147 miles per hour. That's picking them up and putting them down. All right, in Ken Muscatel's normal position, he's going to make a run on the clock. Now, in all the classes, that they do have runs on the clock where they'll try to set themselves up and try to zero the clock and get that front water. Muscatel now slowing down. He must be having some kind of engine problem. He couldn't lose it that hard and then do it. Now he's picking up speed. Muscatel on the inside, the all-white boat. Dave Vilvok on F-400, the yellow boat, down the front chute. Robert Ross down the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, the first final six and seven liter Formula Merc Cruiser. On the outside, Harold LeBray from Tacoma, Washington, the Holy Smoke Boat. Panda's Pride having some definite problems. We'd heard him popping earlier on the test laps. Out of the first turn, the Muscatel boat smoking down the back chute. Now remember, that's the same boat the unlimited driver George Woods built, so apparently he knows what he's doing when it comes to building a uh, five liter down the back chute. We got one over. We got a boat upside down the first turn. That's the Sunset Chevrolet Special. In our rules of racing, when a boat goes upside down, if the driver is uninjured, he will clasp his hands above his helmet, signifying that he is okay. He did do that. The rescue boats are moving to position to pick the driver up. The black flag is being flown. Remember, once again, we told you the flag's significance is on the race course. The drivers obviously can't hear what's being said, and we do direct their traffic by flags. Black flag meaning exit the race course. Red flag means shut it off. So he was in a position that he was safe, so they just flew the black flag. That's the Shady Lady boat moving down the front chute to the pit area. Ken Muscatel got fired up in the second turn, turning around, coming down to go back to the pits. That's a sad situation because that boat is very, very competitive and had an opportunity to place well in this heat. Going to the pit area, Hollow Ray, Howard LeBray and Holy Smoke. J-45. Ken Muscatel in the 93 boat. So we obviously had a collision in that corner. Will limit the field drastically. Okay, there you go. The uh, trouble, and uh, they're all heading back to the pit area, and uh, whether they'll have the restart of that. Dean? Yes. Excuse me, Dean. Excuse me, Dean? Yes, you're on the air. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't sure you didn't answer. We have Bill Weber with the Miller American team. Tell us exactly uh, what you know that happened uh, to uh, Chip in the boat up there. Well, right now, Frank, it appears that Chip hit something, and that nicked the propeller blade. And since the propeller was no longer making a perfect circle, that causes a vibration of the propeller shaft. And that was the vibration Chip talked about when he came back that he heard. So he shut the boat down. We believe the engine is okay. We're going to trailer fire here in just a second and find out. But either the vibration or the piece of the propeller blade that left also sheared a cooling hose.